Hello guys, and welcome to uh, another episode of Ginger Gamers Tech. Um, today what I want to do is um, go over speeding up your NVIDIA Shield TV Pro, um, or NVIDIA Shield TV. The first thing that I would definitely recommend um, that you guys do is, um, if you haven't, take a look at my video um, on the NVIDIA Shield TV um, swap out. I also do maintenance, and um, what I'd recommend that you do at the very least is um, clean out your crusty fan, all right? Um, and I'm going to explain why cleaning out your crusty fan is going to speed up your system. Um, just a second. Um, redoing the thermal grease on the um, CPU, or the it's, it's actually an APU, um, because it's a CPU and GPU together, um, is also going to speed up your system uh, because it's going to reduce the amount of heat that the um, that it has. Um, one of the main problems with um, APUs in general is that they thermal throttle. Um, basically, um, most APUs have two sets of cores. Okay, oh, that's technically four. Um, two sets of cores. <laughs> um, they have the big cores and they have the little cores. Um, the big cores are your are your heat creators. They're the ones that do all your work. Um, your little cores are the ones that are low power, and they don't have a lot of um, of heat. So when your Tegra X1 gets hot, it switches from the big cores to the little cores. Um, and you don't want that. Um, in general, you want to make sure your fan is nice and clean. You want to make sure you got good thermal grease on your, your unit, um, you know, on the actual APU. You want to make sure everything is is nice inside so that your cooling is is working because um, any heat is going to cause slowdown because as soon as the machine goes from using those big cores to the little cores you're already going to have an issue all right now um once you get your fan and everything all nice and cleaned out um, another thing that you can do is you can swap out your hard drive if you happen to have a pro edition um, Hard disk drives generally slow down after about three years. Um, actually, they, they usually die after about three years of constant use. Um, if you're not using them constantly, they can last anywhere between four to six, um, and they die anywhere in between there. But the biggest issue with s regular hard drives is that they slow down over time. Um, so it doesn't matter if your hard drive is only two years old. It's slower than it was when it was brand new. Um, at three years old, it's much slower than it was when it was brand new. And the reason for this is that the, the hard disk drives are platters. They actually um, can get scratches on them, much like um, old CDs. And um, as the, the arm goes over the platter, it's trying to read the sectors. And if it has to go over the platter a second time to read a sector, it takes twice as long. Um, if it has to go over that section four times, it takes four times as long, and so forth and so on. So the arm is having trouble reading a piece of data, and it might go over that section 20, 30, 40, 100 times before it's able to successfully read that little bit that it needs. And this is what slows hard drives down, is that the older they get, the more defects they have, and the harder it is for that arm to read a piece of information. Whereas when it was brand new, the arm could read that piece of information on the first try every single time. But now it's getting to the point where when it goes over that, it's kind of go, oh, I didn't quite get that. Let me try it again. 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 Let me try it. Oh, yep, got it. And it has to do that for every little bit of information. It's got to keep trying to read it repeatedly. So what do I suggest? I suggest getting a solid state. Um, if you can afford it. Um, it is one of the best upgrades you'll make to speed up your, your, your system um, because everything that I'm going to show you after this isn't going to make much of a difference if your hard drive is five years old from the NVIDIA Shield 2015 and you know it's kerplunking along. Um, a lot of the times you can just hold your ear up to the system and you, your hard drive and you can just kind of hear it clicking and whirring and making these these strange noises because the arm is trying to pass over all this damage and it's just not doing a good job like the ball bearings are failing in the drive and you can hear that too 
Um, there's a big difference between how a brand new hard drive sounds and how a an old one sounds. Um, the other thing is the solid state, solid state hard drives don't have any moving parts. Um, so there's no vibration um, and they create a lot less heat than the solid state, or the, the old hard drives. So you're getting a couple benefits. The solid states are faster, okay? Much, much faster. The solid states are, how do I put it? They have a much greater longevity with their speed. So whereas a hard drive um, after about two years starts to drop off in speed, your solid state is going to stay at the that super fast speed for its entire lifespan. Um, the other thing is the heat. Okay, so if heat is the enemy of your system and the hotter your system gets, it switches to those little cores, um, your solid state is going to make less heat also than the, um, the regular hard drive. So that's another bonus. Um, your system is going to be cooler and quieter. Um, and it's not going to vibrate as much because the hard drive is spinning. It's a spinning platter. You know, it's going to make things a little bit um, hotter, a little bit more vibratey in general. Um, I go through the entire thing here on how to swap that out. Um, if you take a look at my channel, you'll find that video. Um, once you've done maintenance on your system, you got it all nice and clean. You've managed to, you know, air. Um, the next step is to go into the settings here. So I'm going to show you guys a couple things to speed up your your NVIDIA Shield um, TVs um, and also the NVIDIA Shield TV Pros. Um, so first off, what you're going to want to do is you're going to go down to um, Device Preferences and then you're going to go to System. Um, and then we're going to go down to Processor Mode and you're going to change that from Optimized to Max Performance. And the reason why you're going to do that is because that's going to get your processor um, using those big cores more often. Um, and that's what we want. We want the processor to, to use those cores that generate more heat. Um, because everything that we've done before, the changing out the solid state, the cleaning of the fan, the re-greasing the processor, um, and on my other video, um, I actually even added a little heat sink on the memory to kind of help keep the heat down as much as possible. Uh, and the next thing you want to do here is you want to change your fan mode to cool from quiet. So that's going to speed up the fan. It's going to make it more active. It's going to keep the, your, your system cooler so that you're not switching to those little cores. You're, you're staying on the big cores. The big cores are the ones you want. The big cores are the fast ones. The little cores are the ones that don't generate heat, and they're also the ones that suck. All right, so keeping your system cool so it doesn't thermal throttle ever is going to make your system stay fast. Um, another thing that is a problem with Android devices in particular is if your hard drive is full. Android devices do not like your system to be full. So if you are close or very full, I would recommend trying to keep at least like two to three gigabytes free at any point. Um, you never want to fill up your Android device completely because then you're going to get the message at the top of the screen that says your device is running out of space, certain features have been disabled, um, and the reason why this is is because the, the Android devices pretty much use your storage space as like a, a, a RAM disk. I know that it has RAM, but it, it it's not like Windows, you know, it doesn't have um, a page file. But, or it might have a page file, actually. But, um, it's basically using your hard drive to enable a lot of the features that it's doing. Um, and when you fill it up completely, it can no longer use those features. Um, and on top of that, you'll notice that when your system is full, it slows down incredibly. Um, another thing that we're going to do here is one that you've probably seen a hundred times, but trust me when I say that it really does work. So you're going to want to go to About, and then you're going to want to go down all the way to Build, and you're going to tap there five times until it makes you a developer. It's going to say one more time, two more times, etc. Um, once you're a developer, we're going to go all the way down to Developer Options, um, and then you're going to go all the way down 
to animation scale. All right. So um, you can do one of two things. You can turn the animation scale down to 0.5x, which is going to still give you an animation, but it's going to be the fastest of them. Um, but what I prefer to do is to turn the animation scale off. Um, that way the animation scale is just completely off. And um, it does make things quite a bit faster. The second thing we're going to look at in, in developer options is the number of... I will take that. <laughs> I would like my remote to stay active. Um, the next thing we're going to look at is the number of devices, uh, programs that are allowed to sit in the background. Um, so there's two schools of thought on this. Um, having more processes in the background is a bad thing because more things are open and my RAM is getting eaten. However, having more things open in the background also means that they don't have to open. So if I'm constantly killing every process that I open, I can't switch back and forth between them quickly. Um, so what I like to do is I like to put mine at four processes. Um, that way I can have, you know, like YouTube, Hulu, uh, maybe Amazon Prime and Disney Plus all open at the same time. Um, and that way I can flip back and forth between them all as quickly as I can. Um, now, one last thing here um, I'm going to go over, which is um, background programs that will clog your system up. Um, so what you're going to want to do is go to story, no, not storage, eh, where is it? Come on. Sometimes I get a little bit lost in this menu system. That's right, apps, all right, and you're going to want to look at your apps. Um, specifically, you're going to want to go through the ones that aren't official. So apps like YouTube, Hulu, Netflix, you know, the Google Play Store, you don't got to worry about. Um, there are other apps, though, that are uh, mostly the free ones, the ones that really kind of mess with your system. They're always trying to do something they're always trying to send some kind of information over the internet. Um, these are the ones that are, that are going to mess you up. Um, let's see here. I don't think I have any right this second installed that are too terrible. Um, a lot of these actually came from Humble Bundle. <laughs> believe it or not. And... Uh, no, I don't really have anything that bad right now. Um, but if you see something on here which is not something that you need, there's no there's no reason to have it on here all the time. Like if you need it for something uh, very specific, then download it for that. But um, there's no reason to have like a thousand free apps on here all the time. Um, trust me when I say that every single app is doing something. Um, a lot of them do things in the background without your permissions. Well, te technically, they have your permission because down here, you know, as you see, permissions. Um, but what I'm saying is, is that you don't know that it's doing it. Um, like take Daily Motion, for instance, which is kind of like a stupid YouTube. Um, it wants my contacts, wants my microphone. Um, you can look at each one of these and you can see what kind of permissions they're asking for. Um, Dirt 3 is not asking for anything. I don't even think that's uh, really on my system here. Um, ES File Explorer is a weird one that actually does need a bunch of crazy permissions. Like, why does it need my phone? I'm not, I'm not exactly sure why it needs my phone. Uh, or my camera. Or my storage. Um, you can go through these apps. And, and if you disable the permissions, chances are they stop working. Um, but just go through your apps and just try and um, curate what's in there. Don't have a bunch of stuff in there that, that you have absolutely no idea what it's doing on your system at any given time. And if you're having a specific problem with your system, troubleshoot by uninstalling an app. Restart your system. See if the problem still exists. If the problem doesn't, if the problem still exists, then you know the app wasn't at fault. Reinstall the app. 
But if you uninstall one app, restart the system, and the problem is gone, chances are you found the culprit. Um, I had a similar issue a while back. Um, I was having trouble with this system all the time, and then I uninstalled one particular app, which I thought was the problem. Problem disappeared. Now, ever since I um, got my SSD in here, did my maintenance, this system is running absolutely beautifully. Um, now, another two things, uh, last two things here. Um, they're going to be real quick. Um, Wi-Fi versus Ethernet. If you have the ability to use Ethernet, which I don't right now, unfortunately, go with Ethernet. Ethernet is always going to be faster. It's always going to be more stable. You're going to be able to stream your content a lot easier. Um, there's so much less interference, and you don't have to worry about all this downtime. And even when the Internet goes out and comes back up, Ethernet comes back up faster than Wi-Fi. With Wi-Fi, you got to wait for everything to reconnect. It's, it's a pain in the butt. Um, the other thing I'm going to recommend is that you update your system um, and you restart it every now and then. Um, so, you know, you can update um, right here. Uh, where is it? Uh, device preferences, about system upgrade, check for upgrade. Um, upgrade your system to the newest version. Um, I've had a lot of my problems gotten fixed by the system upgrades. Um, now, granted, if your hard drive's dying, that's not going to fix your system. You're going to have to replace the hard drive. There's really nothing you can do about that. Um, restarting your system every now and then is important because the system has things that it needs to do during that restart. Um, sometimes even optimizing the apps. Um, Android TV is a little bit different than Android, but it still runs on the same engine. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, that's pretty much everything I can think of right off the top of my head. Um, if you have a 2015 NVIDIA Shield and it's not running right, trust me, maintenance, swap out that hard drive to an SSD, regrease the processor, um, you know, and do these little little things that I've shown you in the settings, and it's gonna it's gonna roar to life. You're gonna it's gonna be a whole new system. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and um, and keep watching, and don't forget to uh, like, comment, and subscribe. As I awkwardly fumble to hit the.